Right, so USB-C to 5GBPS Ethernet adapter. Now, you might be thinking, well, why do I need one of them? I've got an Ethernet connection. Well, you might have, but this will give you 5,000 megabits per second speed, or up to 5,000, whereas your Ethernet connection may only be a 1,000, which is standard at the moment, especially on things like laptops and things like that. Maybe not so much on PCs, but on laptops. Now, so who's this for? Well, someone who wants a faster network connection. You've got to be careful here because this won't speed up your internet unless your internet is already faster than a thousand. Then it might do, or it should do. This is for people who wish to, say for instance, you're going to your mate's house and you want to do a bit of a LAN party sort of thing and you want to do connection together. Perfect, because you're getting 5,000 megabits per second instead of a thousand which will help with any sort of lag, you know, or even sharing files and folders. Yes, the more speed, the quicker you can transfer from A to B. And because it's small, it will fit nicely in your pocket. And because it's wired, you've got less chance of interference and dropouts. And also, it is widely compatible, whether it be for Windows, Mac, Linux, iPads, anything like that. It should just work. You could even use this for your Steam Deck if you've got one, that is. Well, I haven't got one. Well, get one one day, you never know. So let's have a quick look and see exactly what you get for your money. Because, you know, you want to see what the product looks like if I can get it out of the box, don't you? Okay. We have instructions. More instructions, or safety, maybe. And the unit itself. Now, oh, actually, it's that house in here. And quick start guide. Oh my god, it's a book. <laughs> it's alright, it's multilingo. <laughs> you ain't got to read all that. It should, in theory, just be plug and play. We will be testing that and see if it actually is, which I think it probably is just plug and play. It does require a driver. It should, in theory, just install the drivers, but if it doesn't, they have a link for you to follow. So don't worry, don't panic. So something to bear in mind you might need a driver. You might not. I think it will just probably work. So uh, with that, let's give her a test and see if she does actually work. Yes, I plugged it in and it worked straight away. So I didn't need to install any drivers. Like I said, you might do, you might not have to. I didn't have to, so it just worked. Now, before I show you how I set it up or what I connected it to, let me show you some speed tests. Now, this is for my NAS. So I've done a download from my NAS to my PC. And then I've done an upload from my PC to my NES. Now, there are many things that control the up and download speed. Say, for instance, the cable you connect it with. I used a cable that should, in theory, do 10 gigabits per second. This is a Cat 7, I think, as far as I can remember. Yeah, a Cat 7. So it should perform really well. So I plugged this into this, like so. Then I plugged this into my PC and the other end of this into my NES, which is right here next to me. Let me quickly show you. This little baby here, yeah. Look out for the video for that. So yeah, I plugged it into that. Now, like I said, there are many things that control the speed. One being the hardware that's inside my NES and one being the hardware that's inside my PC and, of course, cabling and the USB type cable in at the other end. Now this should perform maximum, but I used an extension lead. So that may also affect the performance of this. But I was very pleased with it. Whether I was doing a download or an upload, the speed were better than your standard 1000 megabits per second upload and download. And also, yes, there's an also, I also tested it on my internet as well because I wanted to see how well it performed with my internet. And again, it performed really well. It's a little bit slower than I would have liked. My internet is 1000 download and my upload is 100. Now, again, it depends on who's connected to my internet at any one time. 
or how many people are connected to the same internet per the, say for instance, the street. Say for instance, you're with a company and they've overloaded your connection by sharing it out to too many other people. That will also affect your performance, but it works. It does everything they claim it does. And it got warm. It didn't get hot. It just got like, I'd say lukewarm, or just above lukewarm. So very comfortable to hold in hand. And it's got some good ventilation, I've noticed. Don't know if you can see that on the camera. See that? Ventilation now and there. And the same on the other side. So it's easy to use. It's virtually plug and play with maybe, you may be needing a driver, maybe. It works on many different types of devices and it works with many different types of operating systems. And it's plug and play. So uh, with that, give my thumbs up. Let me know in the comments whether it gets your thumbs up. And if it does get your thumbs up, or even if it doesn't get your thumbs up, why don't you consider subscribing, clicking on the bell for notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up, whether you want it or not. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, link in the video description below if you want to go and check it out.